what is machine learning and what is artificial intelligence, take zero. So uh, this is the second video of Path to Machine Learning and AI. Before we can talk about how our path to machine learning and AI, let's go ahead and get some definitions taken care of. So one of the biggest things that we learn from the comments that we see uh, on our posts is that there are a lot of people don't even understand what machine learning and AI is. They know it's important. Again, it's just like with IIoT and, and MQTT, they know it's important. They know Industry 4.0 is important, digital transformation is important. They know machine learning and AI is important, but I don't, they don't really know what it is, okay? So we wanna go ahead and define the terms. So for those of you who are PhDs in machine learning and AI, do not comment, okay? What we're gonna try and do is we're gonna try and break this down into the most, into its simplest terms. The white papers that you write, so the white papers that companies like Seek and, um, and all of the AI machine learning companies out there, the white papers that you write are more, no more valuable than toilet paper. No one understands what you're writing in your white papers. Okay, so what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna try to explain it the way that you should be explaining it, okay? So what is machine learning? It's very simple. Machine learning is the acquisition of knowledge. Okay, it is a program that acquires knowledge about your processes. Artificial intelligence, the goal of artificial intelligence is to acquire wisdom. That is to, to essentially replace the brain, the human brain, with a program that can consume variables and come up with a optimal solution and deploy that solution. The AI takes the place of the human being that's trying to consume all these various variables and make an optimal decision. Machine learning is the program that acquires the knowledge, acquires a piece of knowledge that AI is going to use. Okay, that's what machine learning does. All right, so machine learning is only concerned with accuracy of its knowledge, okay? So let's say that I write a machine learning algorithm that is going to learn a piece of equipment. I may have a, a piece of machine learning that its only goal is to determine which variables inside of my PLC program have an impact on the speed of my machine. So that would be machine learning algorithm. So if, if I have a machine learning algorithm and I, and I want to acquire the knowledge of, I have two set points or I have, I, have two, uh, I have two variables, okay? I have a variable that is that goes like this on a chart over time series, so this is time and this is value. And then I also have, well, it depends on how I draw this, right? Let's do it a little differently here. So let's say we will do square wave. And now what I have is I have a value here that's, all right, so my charts look the same, right? But they're, la they're lagging indicators, okay? And, I, and obviously we're not seeing slopes here, there's no ramp up. Okay, and, but I don't, I don't define what these variables are. So let's say I have a machine learning algorithm that's connected to every single data point that's running on the edge, okay? My machine learning algorithm detects a, over time, it detects a relationship between this value and this value. That's knowledge, it's acquiring knowledge. It is determined that whenever this value changes up or down, within a few seconds, this, the value of this variable tries to copy it. So what it's learning is, is that this variable controls the output, the, controls the output of this variable. There is a relationship between the two. It's acquired knowledge. Over a, over a series of time, our machine learning algorithm may ultimately say, this is our set point and this is our machine speed, okay? It may determine that this is the speed set point and this is the actual speed, the feedback that we're reading. Okay. And by over time, I mean over a period of months, it may see 98% of the time, the, this, whatever the value is here can, will soon be mapped to the value that it is here. What happens when the, later on, the algorithm sees that this value goes up, right? But this one doesn't. Let's say this one just keeps going. What does the machine learning algorithm determine about this value here? This is called an anomaly, okay? This is an anomaly. Machine learning sees this as an anomaly and that's where AI is gonna come in. AI is going to look at the anomaly and have to make a optimal decision about what to do. The speed set point changed, but the speed output it didn't and that means we may have a problem and artificial intelligence is going to try and decipher what that problem is here's the other thing AI 
the AI algorithm is not going to be looking at just this one algorithm that's trying to determine speed set point and speed output. AI is going to consume from many, many machine learning algorithms. There are machine learning algorithms, the most popular machine learning algorithms are designed to determine, are designed to be used for predictive maintenance. Acquire knowledge about my equipment so that we can predict when it is that we should do proactive maintenance on a piece of equipment as opposed to waiting for there to be a failure and then we incur downtime, okay, right? Um, so what is, again, what is machine learning? Machine learning is concerned with acquiring knowledge about the process, okay? And, they, and it does that, machine learning algorithms do that by watching variables in your processes over time. So when we talk about why does IIoT matter, let's talk about the IIoT part. Machine learning has to consume this data from somewhere. And in most cases, these data points are being put in time series databases in IoT hubs in the cloud. Your machine learning algorithms are generally running in the cloud. They're not running on the machine itself because what machine learning really wants to do is not just look at one piece of machinery. We wanna look at many pieces of like machinery. So rather than machine learning consuming the data points just from one stamping press in my plant, I wanna be looking at 40 different stamping presses because the more data that machine learning has to compare, the faster it's going to acquire the knowledge it needs in order to give AI the information it needs to make optimal decisions. So again, what we, what's really important to understand is the difference between machine learning and AI. Machine learning is all about acquiring knowledge about the process, knowledge about the machine, knowledge about my plant. You're gonna have many, 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 many machine learning algorithms running, okay? And they are gonna have specific knowledge they're trying to acquire. Artificial intelligence is uh, think of art of AI as algorithms that create neural networks. And those neural networks are designed to connect information, consume variables, and spit out optimal decisions or a range of optimal decisions. And that is fundamentally the difference between the two. The last thing I wanna talk about, machine learning, one of the things that machine learning algorithms have to do is they have to determine which data points to ignore, okay? So they, we don't just map the set point and the speed to machine learning, okay? We map everything to machine learning. And real machine learning algorithms, true machine learning algorithms, they're able to discern the relationships without us having to tell them anything, us being people. The machine learning, we just basically plug the data into a machine learning algorithm and it acquires the knowledge about our process. Example, the Sorba platform, for example, the Sorba, the Sorba platform is a closed loop machine learning platform. What it does is it acquires knowledge about the process and then publishes back what it learned to the machine, okay? To be used on the edge of the equipment. That's the difference between machine learning and AI. A machine learning is concerned with acquiring the knowledge about your process and artificial intelligence is acquiring wisdom. That is, we're uh, acquiring wisdom about the process and then we're, we're gonna consume data from many, many places and spit out optimal decisions. Those decisions may be written directly into our equipment or they may go to people who will then be tasked with executing those decisions. By the way, my personal opinion is that long-term, what people are going to be doing is they're gonna be operations analysts. They're gonna be, the machine learning is inbound, then to AI, and then outbound to the, with the actual execution decision. People are gonna be here in the middle and there's gonna be an optimal decision and the person is gonna decide whether to execute, yes, or no. Or AI is gonna spit out a range of decisions and the human is gonna decide which one of those to, to execute. That's uh, the difference between machine learning and AI in a base nutshell. If you are a PhD in machine learning and AI, please don't comment. I completely understand that we left a lot out here, okay?